product that gives us another opportunity for being used in in uh, rock up to 26,000 psi, so that they can use it for trenching, they can use it for concrete, they can use it for demolition. Uh, it can cut certain uh, uh, widths of or diameters of rebar as well. So if you're in heavy concrete with some rebar in it, depending on the model, it has also a specified range of of uh, rebar that it could cut as well. Um, mainly used for trenching, scaling, um, construction, demolition, uh, anywhere where there's any type of rock that's, that's less than 26,000 PSI and of course that's going to vary depending on the size of the machine. Obviously the smaller units can't go up to 26,000 PSI hardness of material, uh, but the larger ones can. But we use the, the carbide tips, picks here, so that we can easily, I guess, cut the, cut the material that needs to be cut up. Uh, with a hydraulic hammer, uh, you have a lot of vibrations and stuff, so if you're just digging a trench or something next to some, uh, in a municipality or something like that where vibration becomes an issue, then you can use this because there are very, there's very little or minimal amount of vibration going through it. It can, it can do the digging and the trench work that needs to be done. You have less spoils left over or less material left over because with a hammer you have to dig a V-type trench so that you can get the hammer in the trench. Where this unit here, you just have to go side to side so that you overcome the width of that so that you can, can continue to dig your trench deeper and deeper or to your specified applications this will be more productive than a hydraulic breaker once you get into hard material uh, or specific applications then the hammer will be obviously a little bit more productive so some other options and features that we have with this product is we have a water con or a dust suppression console so we have water nozzles that are here and you hook up water to, to right where the uh, inlet hydraulic hoses are come in as well so that you can have water spray hitting the material to bring down the dust so that you can uh, better better um, comply with the OSHA regulations with the new silica rule. So and that, that's an option. We also have hydraulic rotation as well, so that if you have a rotation circuit on the unit, you can put a hydraulic rotation device on this as well, so that you can spin it hydraulically. Uh, we also typically, if you don't order the, the dust suppression console, we have another intermediate bracket that's standard on this unit so that you can mechanically rotate at 360 degrees if needed. So if you have a specific job or an application where you need to rotate it, you can do that on the job site. But we have a simple system here with what we call a quick snap. So you just take a, pull, a tool and you grab the, the center of this pin, this clip, and you pull the clip out and then you pull the pick out. Very easily done. You can change the picks compared to other, other manufacturer picks uh, really quick. So on the type of material that you are using this in, you can determine which picks may work best. Obviously, the harder the material, uh, in most cases, the higher amount of carbide tip you want on it. Um, the softer material, the less carbide you want.